Good day to everyone from CashBoner.com because nothing makes you more excited. On today's video, I'll be going over the cheapest way of going all digital on your PlayStation console. Thank you for joining me today. Happy Friday. If you like what you're seeing, please make sure you give a little visit to the like, share, and subscribe button down below. If you have any questions, tips, comments, put them in the comment section now. Going all digital is something that's becoming a lot more common these days. Is the practice of getting all your games and technically co digital content through your console without having to get any physical media to use on it. So you'll buy all your games, movies, music through the PSN and not have any physical discs to put in there. The advantage, of course, that you don't have to swap out discs. You can get games immediately upon release, which means midnight on release day. So you might have already been playing Spider-Man today at midnight. You don't have to leave the house. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Now, the disadvantage, of course, is that there's less avenues of getting discounts usually. Uh, and with Amazon recently killing the 20% off discount on physical games, that's becoming even more rare. So, let's get to it. So, just like with my Nintendo Switch video on the same subject, here's how it's going to go. We're going to need to purchase a gift card to use on the PlayStation Network as the PSN as a rewards program that, re that gives you money back for purchases made on the network regardless of how it's paid for. So even if you're paying with a gift card, you still get money back on it. And you're going to be getting money back and several steps along the way, thus minimizing the amount of money you have to spend slash maximizing the money you get back on all the money you spend on these places. So let's go. First, you're going to need to have a PSN account. doesn't have to be PlayStation Plus if you don't play online. You can just be regular PSN. You're going to have to pick a shopping portal, either going to be Ebates or Swagbucks, depending on the retailer we're going to use. And then we have to pick a retailer that gives you a percentage back on your purchases, regardless of what the purchase, uh, purchases are. So in this case, it's going to be Rakuten and Best Buy, depending on your situation, if you still have Gamers Club unlocked or your level status. And I'll go over those more in detail as we get to that point. But first of all, PSN. You're going to have to have your PSN account. And then you have to go to sonyrewards.com slash SEN. Disclaimer, this only works in the United States. Unfortunately, if you do not live in the U.S., there's, to my knowledge, currently no option. So, yeah. You go to sonyrewards.com slash SEN to sign into your PlayStation Network account. You join Sony Rewards, and then you link them. Once that is done, you will start earning a percentage back on your purchases on the PlayStation Store. Unfortunately, it starts at 1%. Yes, only 1%. <laughs> Cheap bastards compared to Nintendo, which gives you 5. But there is a way of increasing it if you are all into Sony's ecosystem. So you get 1% base. And then you get additional percentage back if you sign up for their services. So if you subscribe to PlayStation View, for instance, which is their version of YouTube TV. So it's getting your... Basically getting your cable TV channels through Sony, and that the cheapest plan is $45. You get another percentage back, which gets you up to two. Subscribe to PlayStation Now, which is Sony's version of Xbox Game Pass, 15 bucks a month. Although the games are streamed, unfortunately not downloaded, so you better have a damn good internet connection to do it. That's another percentage back, which can lead you technically at this point up to three. Subscribe to PlayStation Music, which is basically Spotify Premium. Again, if you, ha if you really like your music and you want to have a music service and you prefer Sony's alternative versus having something like Apple Music or Amazon Music, that's one more percentage back, which gets you up to 4% total if you subscribe to all four. This is something that is technically feasible if you are all in to just the Sony ecosystem. I personally have a version of all of these. I have YouTube TV. Which I got, thankfully, when it's still 35 bucks. I have Xbox Game Pass, which obviously I get for free. If you want to know how, make sure you go view my video on that subject. How to get Xbox Game Pass for free through Microsoft Rewards. And PlayStation Music. Uh, my wife has Apple Music. Because we get a student discount. So, yeah. But if you didn't have any of those and you wanted like, an alternative, you could potentially be making 4% back on your purchases through Sony Rewards. For me personally, unfortunately, at the moment, it is 1%, so I have to suck it up and just deal with that. The other way you make points through here, this is a bonus because it's going to take time, is through trophies. So earn, 
if you earn 25 gold trophies, you get 250 points, which equals about $2.50. 100 silver trophies gets you 100 points, and the big kahuna, 10 platinum points, platinum trophy, sorry, equals 1,000 points, or $10. So, you play a lot of games, or the right games, I should say, and you get in your trophies, you get extra points on that. But, again, that's a bonus, so... Depending on your Sony service subscriptions, you get anywhere from 1% to 4% base. That being said, now we need to pick a retailer to get our gift cards. Now, the two retailers I suggest are either Rakuten or Best Buy. With Rakuten, you get 1% back on all your purchases and... Every once in a while, they will have coupon codes that you can use to purchase gift cards. Please make sure you, you follow at Video Game Deals. That's the Cheap Ass Gamer Twitter account because they are the first who post on it. They are definitely a lot quicker than I am, so follow them. Every once in a while, Rockerton will do 15% off gift cards. So in theory, you can get a $100 gift card for $85. Bucks, and then on top of that, you also get the 1% back from Rockerton. Yes. And then... On top of that, you need to get your shopping portal, which will pay you a percentage of the purchase made on the website in question. So for Rakuten, for instance, we will go through Ebates. So you get an Ebates account. Ebates will pay you 3% cash back on all your Rakuten purchases. So 3% from Ebates, 1% from Rakuten, that's 4 Now in my case, if I, did a, if I went through this path, I'm getting 1% back from Sony. So that's 5%. It's not the best, especially compared to Nintendo, but if you want to go all digital, it's better than getting nothing. Now with Sony, you have to wait until you have enough points to redeem for a gift card. Uh, in my opinion, that's the way you should take it. Gift card starts at 1,000 points for 10, for 10 bucks, so it's going to take you a while to get it through Sony Rewards, but hey, little by little. Rakuten, you can use the points immediately, Ebates will actually just PayPal you the money. I actually used it finally and I signed up for an account. If you sign up and you spend at least 25 bucks in the first 14 days, they send you a $10 Walmart gift card. I'm still waiting for, but generally, payout takes about three weeks from my experience. Second option is going through Best Buy. Best Buy, depending on how much you've been shopping there and whether you are still a Gamers Club Unlocked member, will pay you a different percentage on your purchases. So, base is half a point per dollar. Elite, which you need to spend 1,500 points in a year to qualify for, is one point per dollar. Elite Plus, you need to spend $3,500 in a year to qualify for, is 1.25 points per dollar. Now, with Best Buy, you need to spend 250 points to get a $5 certificate. Which, just to do math for you, if at the base level for my Best Buy at half a point per dollar, that means you need to spend 500 bucks to get a $5 certificate, which creates to 1%. Elite is 2%. Elite Plus is 2.25%. Now, if you have Gamers Club Unlocked still, if you're lucky enough to get it before they can that, then it doubles. So, 2%, 4%. Four and a half percent. I personally still have Gamers Club unlocked, so I usually go through Best Buy for my gift card purchases unless I can get a discount from Rakuten because I will get four and a half percent back for my Elite Plus membership and two percent back from Swagbucks. So that's two, four point two five from Best Buy, that's six point two five, one percent. <laughs> From Sony, that's 7.25. But depending on your situation, if you're all in on Sony services, you could be getting 4% back from Sony. You get 4.25% back from Best Buy, that's 8.25. And you get 2% back from Swagbox, that's 10.25. So that's better. It's not the best, but it's definitely better. And with Swagbox, you have to earn at least 500 Swagbox or 500 points technically to redeem for a gift card. I usually wait until I have 20, uh, about 23.50 because you can get a $25 gift card at a discount every month. And I like using swag bucks because I also use a leftover shield tablet to run videos on it. 
which earns you swag bucks. That's me right there. And I earn eh, at least about 30 or 40 swag bucks a day. So I add that to my totals. An additional bonus is if you have a credit card that pays you a percentage back on your purchases. Disclaimer, and obviously, you know, credit cards are a touchy subject. I'm not here to give financial advice. Credit card rewards are only useful if you pay off your balance in full every month. Because if you pay interest, then it's worthless. So if you use a credit card that gets a percentage back, that's an initial bonus. Now, another caveat here that I forgot to mention at the beginning. With the Sony Rewards, the points are good for five years. They, they expire at the end of the month that you earn them in five years. However, you need to be active at least once every 18 months. Otherwise, the points expire anyways. The good thing is being active in their eyes is earning points so as long as you make a transaction on the PlayStation Network for anything you remain active so realistically if you're buying stuff on there that's not going to be a concern so yeah there you have it technically up to 10.25 percent back on purchases made through Sony if you want to go all digital like I said in earlier I personally am currently doing the 1% from Sony 2% from Swagbucks to use Best Buy, and 4.25% because I have Elite Plus and Gamers Club Unlocked. Depending on your situation is how you'll get it, but at base, for somebody just starting out, you'll get 1% from Sony, 3% from Ebates, 1% from Rakuten, which gets you up to 5% off, so it's not much. I definitely recommend you wait for a gift card sale because that way you can get stuff cheaper and get a technically an additional percentage back because it's if you're paying 85 bucks to get 100 and then you're also getting back technically 4% back on those 85 bucks and then 1% back on the 100 bucks. You get what I'm saying? That's how you save the money for later. That's how you don't get boned and you get boning. So thank you again for joining me. The Sony Rewards program is very convoluted, I know. But you have to sign up for it to earn any money back. Otherwise, you get nothing. And it's better to get something than nothing. I have yet to redeem anything on here because most of my purchases go through my Xbox because since I'm so invested in Microsoft Rewards and I get so many rewards through there and I have an Xbox One X, I use my PlayStation mostly just for fighting games and exclusives. But... If you're on Sony's console all in, here's what you need to do. Save the most money if you're going all digital. And realistically, even if you just consume your media through there, you should go through this process anyways. So thank you again for joining me. I hope you all have a great weekend. Go out there, play some games, make some money, spend some money, save some money. Don't get boned. Get boning. <laughs>